everybody, Summer Lundegaard here. Welcome back to Sussex Farm. I hope you are all having a splendid day. Me? Well, I'm just doing some back and forth here, you know. Uh, getting this uh, sugar beet field planted up here. We got everything all uh, plowed and cultivated and uh, fertilized there, but I'm just getting the sugar beets in the ground here. Trying to get her done before midnight. That would be, that would be splendid. Um... Certainly don't want to uh, have to wait for it until tomorrow there to finish her up there. But, uh, yeah, we, we did a pretty good job here. Marge, uh, I tell you what, Marge is a tractor-driving machine, she is. Um, and B.W., B.W., what a great guy he is. He uh, got all his stuff done and finished up here pretty darn good. Um, like I said, we do have some weeds growing up here that i got to get sprayed there, try to, try to eradicate them. They are some fast-growing weeds, I tell you, you... You plow and cultivate, and they, like, grow right back, just almost instantaneously. So we'll get that done there. That's not that big of a deal. Other than that, things have been pretty good today. Um, haven't run out of seed yet. I'm kind of surprised. I got all this done here. Got all the headlands done, too, as well. And I haven't had to uh, refill my cedar here. So I'm pretty happy with it. It's, it's kind of a good setup. You know, a little on the smaller side, but that's okay. Uh, I don't mind. You know, I, I like to sit in the tractor and uh, turn on the tunes, a little talk radio now and then. Um, that's all good for me. But we have a busy day again planned tomorrow. Uh, I got all kinds of projects on the uh, on the agenda, but uh, I wanted to get this sugar beet field done here first uh, before we uh, can move on to the other projects. So I think it'll probably take me quite a while here yet. Um, it's going to be a late night here for old Selmer. But uh, tell you what, I will finish this up and uh, we'll see, see you in the morning here. Um, and we'll get on with the rest of our projects. Yeah, sounds good to me there. We'll see you in the morning. Good morning there, everybody. Selmer back here with you. It is just uh, after 6.30 in the morning. I got an early start today. Uh, Marge, my beautiful wife Marge, uh, she made me a healthy breakfast. Holy buckets. I am stuffed. I had omelets. I had bacon. I had sausage. Oh, I feel pretty darn good this morning. Um, what I'm thinking, is going to be a busy day today, but uh, we are all caught up on our planting there. We don't have any planting to do because um, our corn and soybean window is too far out yet so we not gonna do that but I do have a couple other projects that I'm thinking about there this morning the first one being I'm thinking about spraying the field across the road here um, get that done and then I got another project that I'm gonna do for Marge's cousin Marge's uh, cousin Dell he's the one that runs the salvage yard just down the road there next to Plumpton Yard well he's got a son his son his name is Huckin and he is a recent graduate of the University of Leeds, believe it or not, there in uh, West Yorkshire. And he was studying agronomy there. So he's going to move back home and uh, kind of help me with the farm here operation. It's, you know, it's be a good thing there to have, a, have an agronomist here on the farm. Uh, that would just be a, a, a wonderful thing. So that's looking forward to that. But he is going to move um, into some property uh, right across from the salvage yard there. So we have some clearing to do. So that's kind of a plan as of right now. But first of all, I got the new Holland here on the lift. I got the uh, roll crop tires put on there. Going to do some spraying here. Let me just see if I can get this puppy back down there. There we go. Oh, that works out good. Yeah, this lift here. Uh, we put this in not too long ago. Uh, this lift master 10-ton lift. Yeah, it's a dandy. Uh, you just got to make sure that you get on there all the way, though. That's kind of the only key to that, but um, hop in here to the New Holland here. That won't take us very long there to spray that field. We'll get that kind of wrapped up here in a hurry. Uh, we'll leave the door open there this morning, get some good airflow through there. That would be good. Kind of smells a little musty in there. I think I got a leak in my roof there or something, but uh, that's okay. Let's see, hook up here to the sprayer. This is a new sprayer. I haven't used this one yet. We got this one as a good deal. Uh, I traded in an old one. We had a uh, an old Amazon backpack sprayer, um, but kind of an upgrade for us here on the farm. But yeah, the good thing about uh, the job that we're going to do there for Dell and his son Hawken is uh, we got to go down to the uh, Lundergard 
root crop enterprise. Yes. Yes, that's what I that's the fancy name that I call it, but we just call it London Guards. London Guard Root Sales. Um, kinda go down there and get some equipment from there. So I'll show you that operation down there. That's pretty fancy, I tell you. They um, they're doing some high tech research down there, so there's gates and guard shacks and all kinds of stuff down there, so you really gotta be careful when you go down there. Just about as bad as meat and gus there at the dealership, but uh, we'll we'll get it done. Yeah, what they're doing there. Uh, we kind of, um, I don't know how you say it, we kind of expanded our, uh, our horizon there, and, uh, we, uh, they're doing, they're doing some genetic research there, you know, uh, that fancy GMO stuff, that controversy stuff, um, what they're trying to do is, is, um, I wouldn't say design, but, uh, develop a new cultivar of Swiss chard. Yes, if you never heard of Swiss chard, you gotta, gotta IHOP that. Swiss chard. Kind of a uh, cross between a sugar beet and a turnip. I know back home there in the U.S. there, sugar beet growers did not like Swiss chard because it was a, uh, a bad thing in their sugar beet field there and you had to pull them out of the uh, field. But uh, but here, yeah, they, they make them for food so we are trying to, uh, what in the world did have to happen there? My tank fell right off the tractor. Did you see that? Oh, now that thing fell off the tractor. Well, it ain't good. What the heck is going on here? The tank just fell right off the darn tractor. How am I going to get that thing back up there? Okay, just kind of give it a little nudge here. Well, that doesn't quite work. Oh, the buckets. Look at that. Brand new, brand new spray equipment, and it just fell right off the darn tractor. I want a refund on this thing now. This is this is terrible. Oh look at that! Tiny day, a little little fancy tractor driving got that thing back up there. Um, lesson to be learned here: uh, when you're doing any kind of operation, make sure you have the right implement selected. That uh, that would come in handy there. See, now that's what I was trying to do in the first place, but uh, the, the thing that fell right off there. I got too many buttons in this tractor. I tell you, it's it's uh, too fancy for me, you know. But anyways, we'll get back on here. Anyway, the Swiss chart thing, yes. So they are developing new cultivars of that, and that's it's uh, way beyond my uh, my uh, knowledge. But uh, that's what that's what they're doing. And uh, what's going on here now? There we go. Boy, I gotta. I should maybe get a lesson on how to operate this uh, machinery here. But there we go. Okay, now now we're going. Now we're spraying. Oh, there you go. Yep. So yeah. So that's interesting stuff down there. So that's why all the security and the fancy lights and security guards and gates and stuff like that. I don't go down there very much, but uh, I promised old Dell there that I would try to get some help up there. So we'll get that done here today. Not too far of a drive. All we got to do is kind of just kind of cut, cut across there. And uh, got to watch out for that uh, mud puddle that my uh, my son email got stuck in. We don't want to go in there. We kind of got to go by that area there. So we just got to kind of be careful with the, uh, the uh, mud puddle there. Big one, they gotta get stuck down there. And with the equipment that we're gonna be taking, that would be down there till Christmas time. But yeah, no, getting some, uh, spraying some herbicide here. Uh, that's okay. Uh, gotta control the weeds. We don't want no weeds in our crop here. That would not be very good at all. No siree, Bob. So. Big field now that we kind of, uh, turn it into but uh, so I haven't really sprayed this so I'm not quite sure what I should do here um, I kind of did that there I probably should have went on the headland first and then went back and forth but we'll do that now there we'll just uh, go down this headland here but yeah so that's kind of what we have going on for today uh, not real busy I shouldn't say but um, we'll make the best of it I tell you we'll make the best of it for the first time in a long time there, I didn't get a phone call to go haul some, haul to haul something, deliver something. So I, I felt pretty good about that because I, you know, when you tell people, hey, I'll do that for you, uh, you, you, you certainly don't want to be distracted there. No, sir. But uh, yeah, you know, it's all good. Got rain coming the next couple of days, so 
try to get my stuff done here. Um, I don't know. It shouldn't take us too long down there at the uh, across from the salvage yard here uh, to get that stuff kind of cleared. He's gonna. I don't know what he's thinking about doing. If he's going to uh, get one of those modular home kind of things, or uh, or maybe one of those homes on wheels. I don't know what he's going to do, but uh, he'll make something out of it. That that would just be just fine and dandy. Um, good kid, though. He's a good, smart kid there. Uh, went right into agriculture. Yeah, you betcha. You know that um, I was reading in the uh, Farmer's Weekly magazine there the other day that uh, here in the UK, uh, agriculture is the uh, fastest growing area of study uh, in universities in the UK there. I found that kind of interesting. Yep, you betcha. Well, I'll tell you what I'm going to do there. Um, I'll finish this up here. I'll maybe just uh, fast forward and turn on the tunes a little bit. And uh, we'll see how this uh, spraying goes. It's pretty simple. You just kind of go back and forth and make sure your boom is uh, spraying stuff out of it. So it's not that difficult. Even even old Selmer here can do that. So we'll see you after just a little bit there, Debbie. we are all done with this one. Uh, turned out pretty good. Didn't take too long. Nope. Not even 8.30 in the morning yet. So we're, we're sitting okay. Um, just going to wrap this up. We'll get the tractor part back in the uh, shop there. And I'll take my little van down to the um, Lundergaard Rick Crop. That's what we'll call it. I like the fancy name there, but I can never remember how to say it. So I just kind of go with uh, Lundergaard Rick Crop. But now they want to add on these fancy names because of the uh, cultivar, cultivar GMO kind of crap. Yep, but that's okay. You know, I never understood that GMO stuff, you know. Um, it is what it is, but uh, it seems like everybody who uh, complains about GMOs there have no problem eating seedless watermelon. I mean, where in the world did they think that come from? So, yeah, interesting stuff. But we won't start that discussion. I don't want to... Uh, Ruffle any feathers, so to speak, there. So I'll just keep my mouth shut there. Let's see, I'll just park the tractor right back in here. This will be okay. We'll store it in here for now. Um, we're going to use it again here soon, so I'm not going to uh, worry about unhooking anything or changing tires back there. That is just fine and dandy. We'll shut the doors here. I must be getting older. These doors are getting harder and harder to close together there. I should make an automatic thing there. That'd be kind of fancy. But anyways, okay, that field's done. That's not too bad for this morning already. One field uh, I'll spray. We have more to do there. And we got to get down there by uh, Abbott's Farm and get that one sprayed. That's probably the next one we'll have to do there. Maybe even if I get down there this afternoon or later this evening would be okay. But here, let's just hop into the handy, vandy, handy dandy van here. Oh, I like this van. I like this van. I'll use a drone view so you can kind of see where we're coming from from the uh, outside here. Um, let's see. Which way sh should we take the mud puddle road or? Nah, we better, probably better not there. We'll, we'll, we'll stick to the highway there. 
we just come down here, here to this road here. I'll show you guys the map there. Um, we're just gonna go uh, right down there, kind of by the racetrack there is where the work cop business is. So we go south there, and then um, and then we turn back east again there. Let's see. I better drive nice here. I better turn my turn signal on. I don't want no uh, no police officer coming after me. No, no. I don't like the popo -po after me. Um, but it's all good. Okay, okay. I still got this little cold thing. My nose is all stuffed up, so that's just uh, it's still bothering me. I've been taking some stuff for it there, but it uh, doesn't seem to be doing me any good there. But uh, hopefully tomorrow there it'll go away. Maybe I should go in tonight and have a hot bourbon or something. That might that might do me some good. Either that or a couple pints. That that might help. I have a couple pints of Smithix or something like that there. That'd be pretty good there. So let's see. If this guy drives any slower, we're we going back in time here. But um, yeah, no, that's not it there. I was, there's a shortcut there, but I haven't been through there in quite a while there. So I'm just trying to make sure that I got the right way. Um, right up here on the right is the uh, is the root crop, the Lundergaard root crop. Don't have any signage up there. Hopefully, maybe sometime in the near future here, we'll get some signage on there. I don't think there. Uh, there anybody there yet this morning but I got keys to get in there so we just go kind of past this uh, construction site they must be doing some culvert work or something maybe new water lines new sewer lines or something going in there um, I think they well, they asking for help there by the local farmers but uh, but not yet there here right here on the right this is Lundergaard Rick crop I got to get the gate here oh I didn't use my turn signal my, my bad Get the gate here. Yep, they we do uh, sales and storage of root crop, potatoes and sugar beet kind of stuff, and then the, of course the the genetic testing thing there. Um, we'll go in this side here through this guard shack thing there. Got to open that gate as well, dear. We'll park over here in the workshop area. We got some bins back here. Um, holding the other crops there for testing. And there's some seed containers back there as well. Um, turned out pretty nice. We just put in a bunch of bunch of lights in the water tower here. Um, but yeah, we got some bins back here. There's some seed containers here. And then, uh, yeah, we put all these new fancy lights in here. So you really gotta see it at night. It looks pretty nice. Got some floodlights there above the containers. Got some floodlights there above the bins. But yeah, no, it, it looks pretty nice here in the uh, in the uh, nighttime, but you know it's, it's not being used very much now because it's only in the springtime. Come the fall during harvest time, it'll be busy in here. I tell you, holy buckets, people coming and going, trucks. So it's okay for now, there. Let's see. Oh yeah, this is all the root crop equipment here. They got uh, they got a JCB tractor. It's not too bad. Um, I'm not a big fan of it, but it works good for around the thing. And then they got some trucks here that haul the sugar beets. Uh, they do some. Um, work there with their with their plots that they grow and this little flatbed truck here and then of course the uh, payloader that's for uh, scooping the uh, the sugar beets in there yep so that's what we're going to take today down there um got the ryeboard xyler here that'll help us take out those stumps there um but yeah no sounds all good here i'm going to get into the uh, the tetra if i can get my fat belly through here there we go. Oh boy, look at that. I am way out there in the in the boonies. Not a bad truck here. Not a bad truck. Not the uh, not the automatic like the other ones here, but uh, but I, I'm a, I'm a I'm a pretty good manual transmission driver guy, so I can get this done. Um, let's see here. I don't like how you sit up so high in this truck though. It feels like I'm, my head's on top of the roof there, but that's okay. Oh, don't want to hit the pallet. Right. Oh boy, that'd be bad. That'd be bad there. Don't want to do that. Um, where is that trailer there? You know, I can't even see it there. I got to go outside there and look. Holy buckets. Look at that. I'm way off there. I was trying to hook up to the JCB there. Tractor or something. That's not good. There we go. I think got her all hooked up there. Okay, dokie. And then let's try this. Let's see how this goes here. Um, everything should be strapped down. Boy, now it's getting very cloudy out. A little fog in the air there. 
I'd probably I better shut the gate there because of the security stuff. They're kind of anal about that there, and I don't want to get in trouble. I certainly don't want them. Oscar and Lily after me. Nope, I don't want them on, I don't want to be on their bad side. Holy buckets. They got a little mean temper to them. I probably should have my beacons on. They actually even have my headlights on too there. It is kind of, uh, visibility kind of low here now. We'll take the scary road. I, I think I can do it. I'm going to stay out of the mud puddle. Um, I didn't quite stick to the road there, but that's okay. This grassland, that's okay. Just trying to make sure I stay off the guy's field here. That wouldn't be very good. Here's email's favorite spot right here. Yep. How that moron went in there with all these cones set up is just beyond me, but uh, you kind of just stay to right about here, and the guy should be okay. He could have figured that one out there, but uh, like I said, his cheese has kind of slipped off his cracker, so. Oh boy. I think I'm stuck here. Look at that there. That's not good. That's not good. I should have went the other way. A little more power. Oh, I don't have enough power. I'm stuck down here in the mud hole. That's not good. I don't dare tell Marge about this one. She'll never let she'll never let me live it down. I can get out of here though. I'm a pretty good driver. Whoa, careful there, payloader. There. Get a little bit of run on it. There we go. Much better. Oh yeah, that worked out okay then. I don't know who the little shack that is there or what that purpose is there for, but uh, I'll have to inquire about that one there. So right here, this little property here, there, this is where they, right across from the salvage yard there, this is what he is going to do with his, uh, his new little homestead he's going to build here. So I told him that I could come down here and start giving a little hand and uh, help him out there just a little bit. So let me lower my gates there. So what I'm thinking here, I got, I got, I got a little chainsaw there, and I'm gonna cut down these trees there, and I'm gonna cut them right, and then I'm just gonna put them on the flatbed here, and then uh, haul them away. It's gonna take me a while there, but I think I'm just going to kind of take, take my time at it, you know, uh, help things out along the way. I do have a um, fork over there at the salvage yard that they have for me that I can pick up. Hop in here to the payloader there. I don't need the bucket right now there. So I'll probably just set the bucket off to the side here. We'll just put that there. That should be good. So I'm going to run over here to the salvage yard and get myself the fork that, uh, that they had waiting for me. And we'll give this a shot here and see how this goes. This could either work out pretty good there, or it could be an absolute disaster. Uh, I, I'm kind of interested to find out myself there. Kind of sit right there, just like they promised me. Yep, that works out pretty good. Yeah, I know it's not it's not the, quite the logging fork that we would have in mind here, but it works it works better there, and I, and I like it. I've used it before there once uh, one time. Yep, I, I, I didn't do a real good job of it last time, but uh, we'll, we'll give it my best shot here. Um, let's see here. Where should we start? I suppose we'll just start here right in the front there. Um, and give it a go. Let's try this one right over here, this tree right over here. Let's give that a shot here. Hawking that young lad. He'll be, he'll be quite uh, happy with this. Uh, he owes me now big time, though. So get the steel out there. I got the chain all... Uh, all lubed, are uh, all sharpened up, and I got her all lubed up with some chain oil, so we're ready to go here. Let's just give this a shot, and hopefully I don't uh, hit anything. As you've seen before, my chainsaw abilities is not quite the best there. Nope. But uh, I'm pretty good at taking the taking the little branches off here, though. Look at that. I am so good at that. That's like super, 
super speed branch cutting there. Yeah, that looks not nice. Yep. Now, the only question is there, I wish I had a tape measure, and I keep forgetting my tape measure. Everywhere I go, I keep forgetting my tape measure there. I don't know how long I should make these things. Um, maybe it kind of be a trial and error process here. Um, let's see there. We'll just go right about here and see how that one goes to start off with. Whoops. Careful there. Okie dokie, then that looks pretty good. Let's just try that there and see how it sits on that flatbed. I don't have a logging trailer, so I'm just kind of kind of going with this thing. It's the only thing I could think of um, right off the top of my head. I suppose if it does come down to it, I'll just have to get uh, Dell there to uh, lease one for uh, for me to use. He would do that because I'm doing all this nice work here for him. But, uh, you know, he's pretty busy with his salvage stuff. He's got a tow truck operation there, and uh, he's kind of busy with all that. Oh, I didn't quite get her on there on the center, did I? Hey, look at that. There's still some branches on there. How does that happen? I was such a good branch cutter guy. Not very good at all. I better... I better fix that. That's that's just that's just terrible. Then I can get centered, more centered on it. There, that'd, that'd be better. Let me get these branches cut off there. Well, I gotta be careful next time. That's. Uh, I'm glad nobody was here taking pictures of that. That would be embarrassing. Yep. Oscar and Isaac would never let never let me live that one down. Nope. Whoops, I totally missed that there, too. Oh, careful there. Oh, what's going on here now? Now I'm having all kinds of troubles. There we go. Oh, look at that. That's much better. Okay, we'll just pretend the first stuff never happened there. I suppose what I should have probably done there is unhook uh, that trailer. That would have kind of made more sense there. And then actually parked somewhere where I could actually put the log on the trailer. I didn't really think, I didn't think that's really ahead here. I'm kind of in too much in a hurry. So let me get things squared away here. I think what I'll do there is I'll unhook that trailer. Right there. And then I'm just going to pull up. Look at that, I even left the truck running. That's terrible. I try and put the beacons on just in case somebody comes down here. But uh, we'll see how this goes here. Just a little bit too far forward there. I don't know. That might be there too long. Ooh. Boy, I didn't get that on there real good, did I? I don't care if it sticks over the back there a little bit. That's fine. Let's just see if I can just push that on there just a little bit. That didn't work out real well. There, that's okay there. That'll work. So we'll try another one here. It's going to take me a little while, but, uh, you know, I got the patience of Job, I tell you. I really do. Marge, she doesn't. Uh, she is so impatient, but I still love her. But me, on the other hand, I, I got patience. You know, when I have a kid like Emil, you, you kind of got to have patience, though. It kind of comes with the territory. Let's see, let's just try to cut this puppy right here. Boy, I'm taking quite a while here. Oh boy, I didn't think I was going to actually end that one. I got that one pretty good there, too. And look at that. No more branches on there. I got that one cut. Whoa, stay there, log.
There. That worked out okay. I can just maybe push that over to the next one. There we go. That. Oh, oh, nope. Stay there, log. There. That's okay. That's pretty good there. This is working out okay. And probably eventually here when I get when I get much better, I could probably do two logs at one time there. But I don't want to press my luck so far. Um, hey, I wonder if I can just take this last one here. That'd be three uh, three logs per tree. That's not too bad. I probably should probably just be over a little bit more here. Whoop. Careful there. Sometimes it's hard to tell where my where my other fork is there. What in the world is going on here now? Come on there. There we go. Oh, this is a little guy. Hang on there, buddy. You're almost there. You're almost home. Oh, hang on there, buddy. Oh, there we go. That worked out okay. Now, my theory is I can just put a bunch of there on top and just keep stacking them up there nice. Nice and neat. We'll just push that over there. There we go. I gotta be careful. I don't whoop. Just be careful I don't uh, push them over the other side there. Oh, I had plenty of room there. I could even do some more. Yeah, let's push that over there some more. I tell you what, this is some high entertaining stuff here. How's that look? Oh, I can even go just a little bit more there. Whoa! Thought I got a little carried away there. Yeah, we'll stop there. You know what? I should have some sideboards for this puppies that I should make. Um, that would be dandy. So there's one tree down there. That worked out pretty good there. <clears throat> Excuse me there. Let's see. Yep, and then I got the other thing I can put on the, the uh, wheel loader there, payloader, and I can cut that stump right out there. That would be pretty snazzy. That would be pretty snazzy. But yeah, that's kind of my project for the uh, for the next little bit here. Probably the rest of this afternoon there. Uh, I'll cut one more tree down here. I don't have to take all these trees out. Just a bunch in the front here. For enough him here to haul in a house there. And maybe put in a little pool or something. Uh, but it'll look pretty cool when he gets it all done there. Nice little house. And I think he's going to put in a little shop. That'll be that'll be nice, too. And then, um, down the road if I need to. <coughs> Excuse me, there. I got I got some wood chips from the, uh, the chainsaw in my throat there. Sorry about that. Um, down the road, down the road there, we can uh, maybe put some machinery over here where we get, uh, get more expansion going on here. Let's load that log there and see how that goes. See if my luck stays with me there. I like this payloader though. You know, I like this payloader. Uh, the JCB payloader, no problem. Big fan of it. But the JCB tractor, just uh, not so much there. I don't know why. I, I don't know why there. You know, I, I like to have there um, is a Komatsu Komatsu wheel loader, payload. That that would be nice. I like I like those Komatsus. Those are some big big boys. Why is this one not? Why am I having trouble here with this one? Oh, there we go. I got that one pretty good there. Yep. I 
think I'm doing okay there on size. Uh, length, I mean, not size, but length, you know, you know what I mean there. I can't change the size of the tree. That's already grown and cut down, but, you know, the, the, the length of the, my, that I'm cutting there. There. Now if I just, I think I can just push that over there just a little bit. There we go. Well, that works out nice. That works out nice there, I tell you. Well, I'll tell you what, there. I just might be made out a little bit shorter, but uh, I'm gonna gonna go get myself a Mountain Dew here, and I'm gonna go over to the uh, to the uh, Plumpton Farm over here, and I'm going to talk to BW and see how it's going, see what he decided on that. Um, I see he's got his tractor and plow over there, so I'm gonna go chat with him just there a little bit and uh, see how things are going and what he wants to do with the uh, Plumpton Farm here. But that'd be cool if he would. Um, take this over that would be dandy uh, he's a good guy to have around and I think he would do some do help us out a little bit here on the farm but uh, yeah oh, are they watering the tomatoes oh they're watering the tomatoes very nice I'm not a big fan of tomatoes though I, I don't I don't eat a lot of tomatoes um, but we'll see anyways we'll leave it there for today and next time I meet you I'll meet you right back here and uh, maybe I'll even have that trailer loaded loaded and we'll take that down to the sawmill and see how that goes there but like I said we don't have any planting if I show you the map here real quick whoops I was right on there look at that yeah see the only thing we have left there is six and our big field 27 there and six is going to be corn and this one's going to be soybeans and uh, if we go into our season calendar there you can see that the soil temperatures are not warm enough to plant either one of those crops so we have to wait on that. Do have a little bit more spraying to do, but I gotta finish this project up so we can get his house moved in here. Maybe even help him put up a fence or something there. That'd be kind of dandy. But anyway, we'll leave it there. I hope you enjoyed the video of today. Uh, thanks for joining us. Thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. And uh, if you if you liked it there, give us a like. That would just be dandy. And if you haven't subscribed yet, hey, do that as well. We would seriously appreciate that. But. In this foggy Sussex farm, Selmer Lundegaard telling you, have yourself a great day. And we'll see you later.